You're watching Sky Sports. Nike Live, brought to you by NikeFootball.com. Yeah, but why don't you talk to us when you've got something to say? Yeah, good, I look forward to it. Muppet. Great match the other day. Yeah. How's the house? Okay. It's a bit of a trek from the training ground though, so um, I thought helicopter. A red one. White blades. Fly the colours. <laughs> what happened to Mr. Nice Guy? Look, I don't want any house, any helicopter, I don't care about free car. I don't want any player of the Mono World. All I want is my own TV show. Edwards. And I'm Andy Goldstein, and tonight we're privileged to be in the presence of a living genius. Thanks, mate. No, not you. I am, of course, talking about one of the finest, bravest, most talented footballers of his generation. The awesome and inspirational Cesc Fabregas. That is right, uh, you lucky people are about to experience a whole hour dedicated to a man whose boots we're not worthy to lick. We think that Cesc Fabregas is the next step in the evolution of football. But don't just take our word for it. Have a listen to this lot. Cesc, who is Cesc? Ah, the niño del Arsenal. Futbolista. No way. When I saw Cesc play for the first time, uh, I think he was only 16 or 17. In terms of football, he seemed to have the knowledge beyond his years. To get him from Barcelona is just phenomenal. Coming from Spain so young, that's a challenge for anybody. Siendo muy joven, la verdad es que es impresionante todo lo que está haciendo. Bosses midfield, no matter who he plays against. He's a player who wants to win every game. I think he's got a bit of everything. But he's been a genius today, he's been like a little magician. He sees everything that's going on before other people see it. He can do something magic. Oh! Dynamite! Absolute dynamite! He has a lot more goals than I had, so I think he's a lot more complex than I would have been. Cesc Fabregas, Cesc Fabregas, Cesc Fabregas, Cesc Fabregas. Cesc is an inspiration to all young players that are coming at Arsenal, really. I know he wants to be the best, so I'm not afraid for him. I just want to be on his team all the time. With praise like that, a lesser man would have an ego the size of Derby's goal difference. But Sesk has got his feet firmly on the ground, and those feet, combined with his intellect, his courage and damned hard work, have turned a humble nine-year-old schoolboy into a footballing genius. And even now, he is still in short trousers. Along with a host of special guests, including Matt Lucas, Paul Kay, members of the Arsenal squad, past and present, and a very special guest, we're going to enjoy every aspect of his career to date, as well as looking forward to what a player with such determination, talent and skill is yet to achieve. And let's not forget our specially invited studio audience who are about to go crazy mental as we meet the man who's an inspiration to us all. It's the PFA Young Player of the Year and star of Nike Live, the Cesc Fabregas Show. It's Cesc Fabregas! <laughs> Is this kind of how you wanted it? Of course, it looked like the Emirates. Cesc, is it weird to hear your fellow professionals and former players being so complimentary? 
Of course, uh, for me, it's, it's fantastic to hear these kind of things. Uh, all I want to say is thank you very much to everyone, uh, to all the players who have been involved as well, you know, because it's always nice to hear these kind of things. And, and to all of you guys, thanks for coming as well. And to be voted best young player by your fellow professionals must be quite an honour. Yeah, it is, uh, because uh, you are the one who are, they are the ones who are you're playing against every week, week in, week out. So they know, uh, I know how difficult it is to play against them and they know how to difficult it is to play against Arsenal. So it's also, it's very exciting uh, trophy. And you've clearly had a, a great season. What have been the highlights for you personally? It's, it's difficult to say, me personally. I'm happy how it went individually, but as a team, I'm disappointed because we didn't win anything. A club like Arsenal, I think, uh, should win a lot of trophies. We've done it in the past, and now we have to make sure that uh, all together with the fans and all the club and the players, we make it for next season because I'm sure I, and I've got the feeling that we will do it. You, uh... you heard it here first. Not Man United. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll get to that in a minute. When did you first realise that you might be able to play football professionally? Did you realise or did someone else come to you and say? Uh, I was 10 years old. I was playing for a little town uh, next to mine. Uh, and I was lucky to be playing in the same league as Barcelona in that day. They came to see me. Uh, I, watched the, I played against them as well a few times. They called my, my family, my, my parents, and we decided to, to go and try to make like a trail or something, and they took me. Uh, now, you know, Cesc, that a lot of British footballers play in Spain. I mean, mainly they play golf once they're retired. And that's obviously where you started your career. Being Spanish clearly helped. Let's have a little look and see where your story began. <laughs> was, I think, 10, 11 years old when I saw him the first time. He played at this time on Mataró, and I remember that the, uh, to the mom of him, I said, you don't know what you have at home. In the beginning, when he came to Barcelona, we agreed with Mataró that he came once a week, and the rest of the days he will play in, in Mataró, no? Lo conocí hace 10 años, jugábamos en el Alvin B del, del Barça. Era muy extrovertido, hacía muchas bromas. A mí le gustaba jugar mucho y, bueno, era futbolista ya. Está formado aquí, en el Barcelona. Tiene las cosas que se trabajan aquí en, en la cantera. Es un jugador con muchísima calidad, que es, con el balón juega muy bien. Y se intenta inculcar también valores como persona, te hacen crecer como persona y como futbolista. Me preguntaba por la cantera, por los jugadores del fútbol base, quién prometía, y él era un de ellos. Su tom decía que se asemblaba pues, una mica al Pep. The first thing that that Cesc Fabregas played in Football Club Barcelona was a living A. For me, it's the best team that I have had. I stay in Barcelona since 1996 and I never had a team like this, no? Bueno, si te pones triste, pero también te alegras al verlo ahora, como está triunfando. Now, we've all seen competitive dads down the wreck shouting expletives at their kids during a game. Um, even though they were, they were trying their best, actually, Dad. Um, sorry, to, uh, sorry to be a disappointment to you. I mean, yeah, I was, right. Uh, uh, most mums' job in football actually involves just washing the team kit, but it seems Sesk's mother is a lot more on the ball than most mothers. Have a look at this. Cammy as insightful as ever. Unbelievable, isn't he? Well, it's half time at the Emirates Stadium. Let's cross live now to somebody who really knows their stuff, our new Spanish correspondent. Hi, Jeff. What an atmosphere here. The Premier League at its best. What did you think of that first half performance? Absolutely classic. Match of the season of stuff. But just before half time, a cruel blow for Arsenal with a Galazon goal from a Rooney shot. And how can Arsenal turn this round? Arsenal have had more possession, but they need to make it count. Fabregas need to sort himself out, support his strikers, and Arsenal could easily get back into this. So, the final score in your expert opinion? I think it's going to be 2-2. I've got a funny feeling Fabregas, Ronaldo and Gallas might score. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> 